Welcome. You are now tuned into the Textually Active Podcast. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Textually Active, your weekly dose of conversations about navigating the digital age while dealing with friendships, relationships, and all the ships in between. I'm Rez, and I got Measy with me. Yo. How you feeling? I'm here, bro. What's goody? I got E with me. Yep. And we are so happy to be here. A uh, little known fact, the last episodes that you heard were pre-recorded, so we've been gone for two weeks. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that. Eh? You are now. <laughs> huh? Nigga been gone for two weeks. He don't even know which buttons to hit. Right, he in the wrong button. <laughs> hey. I always know how to find that button. We back. We feeling good. We're feeling refreshed. I didn't even know what to do with Fridays anymore. Give it a buck. I ain't really even prepared to be here today, but I'm here. I mean, hey. <laughs> uh, how do you do this thing again? How do you? Hello? Record? Hi, press for record. Hi. You Siri? guys doing all right? Oh. <laughs> Nick, where? Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Oh. Um, wow. Wow. Touch the button. Wow. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> But I'm here. I'm feeling good. How was your last two weeks without TA? Any update news? Anything happen? How'd you spend your time? Same thing, same way I always do. Going to work, going home, find a little, find a little, little pull up to the masturbation station, and then that's it. I uh, spent my time at Home Deep Throat. It was a lot. It was a great time. You did what? Uh huh. What did you do? I said I went to Home Depot. Man, I don't know what you <laughs> But, all right. Wellington Throat Factory is doing a sale. <laughs> DJ Max was open. <laughs> DJ Max just opened up. <laughs> Life's good, Ooh. you know? A masturbation station was fun, too. Was I've fun. been there. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. We got, uh... I made uh I made them puff them people come fix my TV so you know can't wait to can't wait to cast the little little X videos screen share TV. little Ooh, screen share that screen, little mirror no they call it screen mirror the little mirror hit that thing on there see What's some it? see some only fans out here my na- my neighbors want to be loud we could be loud too I got you got you I mean we, okay but it's uh it's been cool you know just work uh oh no we we've been together we hung out some you know. Done some things, you know. Y'all be seeing in a little bit. We did some things, but uh, just chilling, bro. Trying not to work my life away. Fall gonna be different, boy. You know how bad you know how bad my life has gotten. My therapist told me the other day I need to quit my job. <laughs> For real? <laughs> wow. She straight up said, "Hey man, I think you need to quit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. She said, "I know you don't want to be broke, but I think you need to quit." That's nah. that's a um, that's a first for me. I've I, never. I, I wouldn't think. <laughs> you always hear them. I thought you you always kind of expect them to tell you like to maintain or, and improve upon. But I guess that's the you know, improvement. <laughs> you know, I knew she was serious when she said it. She threw her hands up. She said, "I think you just need to quit." <laughs> she just threw her hands up. I was like, "Oh man, it's bad out here in these streets." <laughs> But I guess we'll see what you do with that information. You know what I'm about to do. It's like a, run this checkup and then just not show up. It's kind of hard for me because um, I'm on the other end. I don't have a job, so I'm looking for jobs. Um, my job is soon to open up with the new laws about North Carolina opening up. Hey. It, it ain't shit going on. It's out here. We about to be going. We going in a phase 2.5. These gyms about to open up. Oh. The summer about to be over, though, which is trash. So what they're going to do, I feel like, is they're going to open up for the next two, three weeks. And then as soon as the temperature changes, because in North Carolina, we get like summer until the end of November, I feel like. Like, it's pretty cool. I mean, it'd be late out here. Yeah, like, it doesn't get cold, cold until, I feel like, the new year. Like, January, um, maybe Thanksgiving, it might get a little cold, but it's not, like, cold, cold. But we're about to get into the, we're about to get to that cool, that cool phase, though. That that little, I can get drunk, and it's about to get dark at 5 o'clock, so when I go to home, I'm going to bed anyway. Man, I just got a, <laughs> I just got a call from Seasonal Depression. She Ooh, said, hey, girl. about to be lit, <laughs> No, boy. That's, that's not lit. It's, the sun going down at 5 o'clock is depressing. 
I got drunk at three. I didn't know. Okay. That day party turned to a night party real quick. Missing hours of daylight is very sad. From five, the sun sets at eight now, right? Or it starts setting at like seven thirty, seven o'clock. Okay. It's gonna be dark at six. If the if it got dark, when it get dark at eight, it made me think, oh, it ain't that late. I can stay out some more. But when it get dark at five, I'm trying to be in the bed by eleven. <laughs> And on Sundays, I'm trying to be in the house by 9.30 so I can watch the paint. So are you saying that you like the... <laughs> so I can watch the paint. You can watch what? I'm trying to watch the paint. That's not what the song. That's not what the show is called. Okay, bro. What's the show called? I like to call it Pussy Valley because that's what it say in the, in the credits. It's not just P-Valley. It say pussy, but it blurred out. They can't say it on TV. We've, so we've both been watching P-Valley during this time. I've heard a lot of talk about P-Valley on the timeline. I will say they've been guessing. This is not the greatest show I've ever watched. Can we can we go there? Because I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to be the first person to say it. Niggas was like, you got to see Pete Valley. Oh, my God. I'm like, bro. Okay. These bitches just showing pussy. They're not. <laughs> I've They're wanted, not. They I've seen better. They only been naked a little bit. Like, I be in a strip club. I've seen, I've seen this. Like, they don't even be acting for real. I've been trying to figure out how is the pink in this small ass town, but somehow they think they about to have 300 people in there. Niggas. <laughs> niggas. <laughs> I didn't even know people were still saying M I crooked letter crooked letter I <laughs> humpback humpback I. I Damn. didn't know people were still saying that. They Why a, are y'all doing that? They got a white girl in there with the worst stripper name ever. Her name is just Gidget. I hate it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the acting. Oh. I don't like. I don't like it. I like it, but I don't like it. It's like a hate watch at this it's, point. It's really. It's really decent at best. It's, it's good really though. Decent. It's something to watch. We don't. Until power comes back on, which it should be on this. It, I came, think it's it just came on. It's coming. Okay, I'm so not, uh, I'm no, not I watching watch that it. shit either. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I'm not watching it. I what? still don't know who shot Ghost. It's t- <laughs> bro, really? Nah, that us. You didn't finish. Retweet. I did not retweet. I I gave up the moment that I seen that. No, no. How you gonna kill Omari? How you gonna kill Ghost? He the best actor in there. Cause that's the kind of nigga that should have died. Did you not see his post to chat with Har? Uh, <laughs> chat with Har. This nigga just made it about him, like they was in competition. This nigga did Black Panther. Ghost, you're Ghost. <laughs> like, <laughs> relax. Y'all are not competing. No, he didn't. Wait, what did he do? So when Yo. shout out R- R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman. When he, when he died, Omari Hardwick post. <laughs> was saying the last thing we talked about was doing a movie together but i've always felt like we was in competition we've been brothers but we was in competition and i'm looking like nigga being uh an extra in a fucking floor tree video don't make you competition see now Yo, see now <laughs> <laughs> with nah, good marshall now i don't you know i don't know how to like, talk right but I, <laughs> I got something to say all right my man was in Black Panther, you were in Sorry to Bother You. Okay? Like you 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 wore like you were a a weird mustache the whole time talking about like how to talk like a white person and like what? Like, I like the views. I, I like that movie. I didn't say the movie was bad, but what, sorry to bother you? Omari Hardwick was in there? Yeah. Was he? Yeah. No. I don't remember. Yeah, he was. Doing what? He was the manager of, of the call center. Damn. Okay, so I, that... That, that lets you know, hey, fam, we only know you from power. He was in there? We only know you from power, and we only know you for Dog and Gabrielle Union out and being Mary Jane. I just, oh, shit, he was. <laughs> and he did have that mustache with the eye patch. No, no, man. You can't do that. See, and that's the type of stuff that makes me Google your Zodiac sign. This man is a Capricorn talking like that. That don't have nothing to do with you. Him dying, competition. Why? Capricorns, I mean, don't let your hustle get in the way. I mean, I, I, get, what, I get what he was trying to go. What I was get, he trying to go, bro? I mean, he, it was basically, it was a, he, he wanted to say like he inspired him. Like he, 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 he put the battery in his back. It was a backhanded way to say, I look up to you. That but I, putting that yourself I, that I respect you. Putting yourself on the same level is like No. I made a movie that made a billion dollars. Nigga, do you he was with a, a with a with a with a horrible African accent. That's what the internet said. I thought it was good. Um <laughs> I only saw the bootleg version. I don't know. 
right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. y'all yeah. ain't finished Powell, but I can't watch the bootleg version. Of- All right. It was All a right. moment. It All was right. a moment. One right. is one is illegal. Illegal. It was a moment. Yeah, because y'all don't be sharing passwords with motherfuckers. <laughs> Who don't? So you don't have our Disney Plus login? I okay, don't. we're going to move on. We're going to move on. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I don't. All right, man, listen. I know you seen Black Ass King. She was kind of. Okay. I still don't know what that's about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my if, God. If we're about to have this moment of clarity, y'all didn't finish power. I still have no idea what Black Ass King is about. Why is that man painted blue? So you're telling us you didn't watch Lion King either? Yes. No, you didn't. I have. Did so is the man the- blue because the bird was blue? I am lost. Yes. Hove was not Simba. Simba did not come in off in a Maybach. I'm lost. What is going on? Why would Simba come in in a Maybach if they're lions, friend? If they're they're lions, friend, why would a lion drive a Maybach? Where was this big ass house that Simba walked into? I remember. Was okay, so here's the thing: they started dancing in outer space on a beach. I ain't see that in Lion King. Okay, it was on a beach and there were stars. My fault. I was confused. I'm just saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. Listen, the moment and when- the irony. I'm doing this on Beyonce birthday. <laughs> it is Beyonce birthday. No, but the thing was. It was supposed to make Lion King real life, and the lions were black people. I thought Lion King went in all that in the beginning with. They okay. Let, they let that white man perform, but then made the black man sing. That's trash. All right. I, f- I can't say I feel you. We still know where Jonathan Weaver at, but if y'all can find Jonathan Taylor Thomas, let me know. All right. So are you ready to are jump into our- Jason Weaver? What did I say? Jeff? Jonathan Weaver. Oh, whatever that nigga name is. Are you ready to jump into our topic for all the right. day? All right. All right, so as two <laughs> two individuals who are in monogamous relationships, we don't often get a chance to talk about the ghettoness it is to be single. Um, but we do get a glimpse of it by looking at our our timelines in real life, because some of y'all be going through it, and y'all love to put your business on the internet. It, and do and do. So um, today we would like a, we would like to take a trip. So everybody, put your seatbelt on. We're traveling over to Twitter. Um, put your seatbelt on. This is dating with Twitter, the episode. So I'm going to start this off with a tweet that I seen this week. Um, actually, Mizi, you shared it with me, and it just kind of gave me a look into what it looks like to date in two, 2020. Because I haven't honestly sought after another sex since 2014, 15-ish. I've been in my relationship for mad long, so I don't know what it's like outside. So when I get a chance to see what you guys are going through, it's like a, a look inside of what it looks like to be single and out here trying to find somebody. And boy, let me tell you, it's ghetto. It's ghetto. I really... um. Not just like relationships, like the way y'all are living out here. I it's really I you didn't, don't have to live like this. I didn't know it was ghetto out here. Like y'all are y'all are wildin'. Like I think probably like three percent have fun being single. I seen a girl say, if we go out as a group in a check up and we split it, I'm only paying for the stuff that I paid for. I didn't, I was not a part of running the check up with y'all as a group. As so the, this, I'm yes. assuming that is. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm only playing for what I got because some of you niggas be out here trying to run a checkup. Hmm. Uh, I, so you're saying like they like they you know they might get their meal, but they're gonna start getting all these extra drinks because they know that everyone's just gonna split it equally. <laughs> so you might wind up, you know, you might wind up spending a little bit less money and i've been that friend and i have no idea how or why i was that friend you was the friend running it up no i was the friend having to pay for it wow oh. i mean it's it's a different side so okay speaking of paying for dates the the tweet that was shared with me it goes a little sound like this so if I pay for the date and there are leftovers, should the person that pays me have to have the right to inquire about the leftovers that the other person is taking? So if we go on a date, it's our first night out. We're having a great time. You ain't eat all your food and you want to take it home. Since I'm paying, should I be like, yo, pass me your food? I'm taking it with me. 
that's just a wild ass concept in hindsight. But I don't want the food shorty picked over. Yeah. I don't want. It I don't either. care. If, I don't care because she probably got chicken like, wings yeah, like, and it's four left, and she only ate two. I'm not sure if I want what she picked over. Them mashed potatoes with that sirloin steak ain't that fire. You like I'm, it. I'm assuming that that per like this is like first second date, so you barely know each other. Yeah, like I, I don't know. Yeah, like I don't know. Not people. even that. I but on the flip side, when I thought about it, I thought it was it meant like I bought table food, like appetizers. Right, like you didn't just get an entree yourself. I bought like you know, there's nachos here, there's cheese sticks, there's that that weird uh, avocado dip. Listen, if there's you know a, those cheddar bay biscuits is left, I'm taking. It. <laughs> All right, see, so when I saw that, that's what I thought. So I'm like, well, if that's the case, then you know, I took it to Olive Garden, this unlimited salad left. I'm taking this home for lunch, and I get to because I I'm paying for it. I thought about it in a way where we're talking about entrees and I didn't eat the rest of my entree and I'm taking home. First of all, I don't want those leftovers. I don't want them dingy ass leftovers. I'm not heating up my steak the next day. I'm not heating up the mashed potatoes and I'm damn sure not heating up no mozzarella sticks or see, nachos. You see what I got through? I'm not doing it. So whatever is left over is getting left. However, for you to be a man. Bro, you live like this? She lives like this. I don't like leftovers. For you to be a man and sit up there, well, not even a man, for you to be an individual and sit up there and say, um, I'm paying for this meal, so I need to take whatever leftovers is on the table. Who hurt you? So let's let's get Who into it. Who hurt you? Let's, let's get into it. I'm right. still shocked. You out here not taking home leftovers. You don't we, get a no, doggy bag? No, we take them home. Oh. She just won't eat them. I got to get... It's... It's the heating up process for me. Like, I have to really understand that the microwave can't do everything. Sometimes you got to throw it in the oven on 350, 450. Sometimes you got to use that air fryer. And I just don't like the way chicken tastes the next day. Oh, y'all niggas. You is bougie, bougie. You is bougie, bougie. Are you going to unpack this? It's certain food that I don't heat up. If it's not pasta, if it's not wings, I'm not eating it the next day. Oh, my God. I am fabricated <laughs> right now. Like he legit, you're at a loss for words. I am, I am stuck. Really? He is befuddled. No, I don't eat leftovers. So, you, so but you the nigga that leaving in a refrigerator for a long time, don't you? Until it's time to throw it away. Yes. All right, bro. What, what was we talking about, bro? All right, so <laughs> let's so let, let's. I feel like we gotta unpack this scenario a little bit. What is going All right, on? so let's. I'm gonna take Learn you through. Learn something it. new about your friends every day. I'm gonna take you through it. Right. This is a this is a a fork and knife type of restaurant right so this is some food like it's like a real dish that you have to order are you taking the other person's uh leftovers home no she ain't so we at olive garden it depends okay if that's if that's <laughs> we said knife and fork not spork <laughs> all right so outback Rez, you was <laughs> Rez, you can't take the bloom of onion home with you <laughs> <laughs> to just throw it away <laughs> I'm sorry, boo. What was your question? <laughs> um, right, so yeah, so fight, knife and fork type of type of spot. Are you? Are you? Do you? Do you take that other person's leftovers home? That is no, gonna be so. No appetizers. No appetizers. We're talking about the, main dish. The nigga that made this tweet is taking her <laughs> leftovers home. This the niggas y'all day in. What did that? See when you say it like that, then that becomes what my issue is. <laughs> It's what they think about you afterwards. If I do it, like I might not get no play for it. <laughs> like she might like be looking at me like this nigga is broke. Like you know what I'm saying, like he, he had it. I had four pieces of asparagus left, and he took it. Like I can't, I, I can't do. I can't. You can't be out here looking like that. We, well, we're gonna, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about how how if you if that's your type of flow, how you actually can get away with it. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Can you you can get oh. So then, it's, it's, ver- it's really, really simple. All right, so next. All right, you guys uh, go get a box of pizza. Uh, the pizza. The pizza I can take home. The All pizza. Right. If you only ate two slices out the pizza, I'm taking that home. All easily. right. Uh, you guys get a $5 foot long or a sandwich or something like that. That gets cut in half, and there's a second half left. <sighs> I paid for it. And she... Well, here's the thing. I'm taking that sub home. You don't have a chance to even think about it. 
<laughs> I'm taking. I'm putting it in my purse as soon as I wrap it up. Oh, so you so so you go. We get two foot longs. I eat mine, and then you only have yours. You wrap. Yeah, that makes sense. You I'm wrapping mine up and taking it. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's easy. That's I just easy. didn't That's even easy. know leftovers were a thing to fight over. But I mean, it's one of those things where. If that's good steak, that's good steak. And I'm taking it with me. You're well, not, how do you get to the point where you get it from her possession? You know why? That's easy. She, that's easy. You that's know why? Hard. You know why Rez can't relate? Rez is also speaking from woman privilege, which means the reason she has leftovers was she tried to eat off my plate the entire <laughs> time we was there. <laughs> that's why. Because that's I so got cool. the, I, you got that nasty ass spicy Cajun pasta. And I got I got the steak, so you wanted some of my mashed potatoes, so you've been trying to eat over here the entire time. After after you already said, oh, what, what you're getting sounds like it's going to be good. See, you know what I'm saying? After, because we had that conversation. Right. Like, I'm getting steak, you want the spicy Cajun pasta, because you've been here before with some other nigga, and that was good the last time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Mind your business about who else you dating when you dating her. All right, so. so <laughs> all right, simple, simple trick before we move on. All right, so basically. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, well, it's kind of goes one way or the other, All right? So most times when you uh, get your stuff plated and you get it taken to go, they usually give you only one bag. And the thing is, you put both of them in the same bag, and the one person who's going to try to take it home, you need to carry said bag, and then put it in the back seat where she can't reach. It, it. You put it in the back seat behind yeah. their seat <laughs> because they're going to forget about it Damn. because they're going to look and they're going to like, oh, okay, I'm good. All right, you walk you to the door. All right, cool. Once you did that- you do this when we were dating? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why. Why you think the summer walker was so loud? But I mean, but but I never, I never did this. I never did this. Like this is like we were, we were together for real, for real. So you're sneaky, <laughs> crafty, sneaky. This whole time I'm thinking I left my leftovers on the table and you took them. <laughs> and I'm texting you the next day saying, damn, I'm mad I left my leftovers at the restaurant. And you was eating them? And I said, don't worry about it. This whole time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, I'm dead. I am dead for real, for real. This nigga sounded like he got experience doing it. This nigga been getting you the whole what? time. What? Well, you weren't going to eat them anyway. I'm so. on to your game, but nah, it's, that's shady. You ain't even have to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <it's>, <laughs> Look at what you bad at. Listen, no, you just wanna, turned you wanna, down you this wanna shit. You want to know what karma is? You want to know what karma is? So he that? don't want to go to BJ Maxx tonight. Okay. No, you know what karma is? <laughs> karma is the fact that she'll... She'll eat, she'll eat some type of food that I can't have. So when I get that chance, Ballard. I take Ballard. it. You do. You know he allergic to seafood, and you be trying your hardest to get them crab legs and eat out that nasty ass little plastic bag. It's not nasty. This is what I be trying to figure out with y'all over the circulars. This is what I be trying to figure out. Y'all will complain that the Waffle House does not wa- use gloves when they cook y'all food, <laughs> but y'all do realize them plastic bags come in a big ass box that somebody handled, and they put y'all food in there, and y'all eating out of it. Right. Yeah. That someone could have put trash in. All right. So if you're. <laughs> I'm so lost. If you they are, did put trash in. No. If you're a visual learner and you would like to reference the tweet that we just mentioned, this came from Dear Orlando Roy. R O Y E. Dear Orlando Roy on Twitter. Um, The next tweet, Facebook thing we're going to reference, this was on a tweet, but they shared it as a picture. And this comes from Eric Haynes. Now, Eric was going through some shit. Let me tell you something. Because like I said before, dating is ghetto, especially if you get somebody who isn't just by themselves. You know, some women come as a package deal. So um, Eric Haynes tweets on his Twitter, and he says, this is why it's hard for me to date single mothers. (laughs) Sorry, single mothers. I took a single mother of two young boys, seven and four years old, to see the new Avengers movie. Reluctantly, I may add because I had it on bootleg already, but she insisted on going to the theater. It cost me, get this, $130 for the four of us, including drinks, popcorn, and candy. After about 45 minutes of the movie, I looked over and these little niggas were asleep. Damn. And they slept for the rest of the movie. Now I'm mad as hell. Because I had a crystal clear bootleg copy of the movie and she didn't want to stay home and watch it. So basically, I gave away $100 shaking my damn head. Now I'm plotting about how to get even and recoup some of my money back. 
I'm trying to stay open to dating single mothers, but damn, it's too expensive. I need some suggestions. Please help. Oh, I already know what the first thing he got to do. Mm-hmm. He got to, he got to, you know, sweet talker. Find a way to get, let her come over. He got to go through the refrigerator. Eat whatever you, eat whatever you can <laughs> get. The fruit snacks, about four of them Capri Suns out the box. Capri Suns are expensive. And they be busting mm-hmm. too, boy. I don't think as a, I don't think as an adult we get to appreciate Capri Suns as much, but that one time that you just see one and you get one, oh, it's love. Mm-hmm. But he gotta go over there and eat. He gotta go grocery shop over there. I think a Capri Sun could be compared to a White Claw. I want to see where you're going with this. Or truly. Because it's like, it's such a small delight. Like, you get it, it's light. It doesn't really have that much flavor a little bit, but it has enough flavor to, to get you hooked. I'm rolling. To pass it along to you. I'm so rolling. you drink it, you drink it, and then next thing you know, you get another one. You get another one. Like, you fuck the Capri Suns up. Yeah, you're right. The same way we do these White Claws and these Trulies. You're right. That's if you can get the straw in the first time. Mm-hmm. A real nigga poke a hole through it with your teeth and just like that. Your freak ball. Okay, so you were saying. But he got to go over there. <laughs> First thing he got to do, he got to go over there and get his groceries. He got to go over there and get groceries. <laughs> rack, rack up. Eat and, them Welch's fruit snacks. And no, you know, she and got. You, the- and you know, you know, they got some um, some Marvel character, uh, you know, figurines stuff like that. <laughs> you got, you got to steal gotta, them. You got to steal one of those. <laughs> steal, steal some toys if you can. Kick their ass a couple times in uh in in, in PlayStation and make them cry. And you know the variety pack of chips. You know it's some Fritos up there. If it's the purple bag though. If it's a purple bag. Because you know them cool ranch. You gotta get it before it's just cool ranch. So she- <laughs> the cool ranch be the last ones in there. Uh, yeah. Now I'm judging her. Now I'm yeah. They are. The cool ranch sit there for a while. Ranch, you eating Fritos before Fuck yeah, the barbecue Fritos? And you not eating leftovers? No. Bro, wh- who are you marrying? Yeah, I'm I'm just figuring this stuff guys, out. Guys, so you guys eat the Dorito ranch? <sighs> yes. The cool ranch. Them is the going Fritos? first. No. Bro, the, no, the Fritos the go order stale. Is, no, the Fritos are first. The order is clearly Doritos. The regular red one, Doritos. The red, the red ones? Red Dorito. Oh, well, it depends on which box you get, but if it's, it's, it's the old spicier, school one. It's the old school. Old the, school okay, we can go to old school ones, and we throw that the the ranch in there because they don't come in there, but we're gonna throw them in there. It is clearly the red bag of Doritos, <laughs> the barbecues. Ew. Whichever, if you got sour cream and onion, or you got salt and vinegar, or if it's funyuns, or if it's smart pop. The only thing that should be left in this fucking box or this bag should be. Sun chips or fucking Fritos. Yeah. Them the last two things that get ate out this bag, regardless of what's in this bag. And usually go get thrown out with those leftovers you wasted too. All right, so I got the official list of chips that are on there. <laughs> so sour cream and onion, barbecue, Bust. Cheetos, Bust. Doritos, Cool Ranch, and chili cheese Fritos. Those is last. The chili cheese Fritos are going first. Them is last. Okay. The actually, barbe- actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna put that on the, on the grocery list because, <laughs> because I, I don't ever want to buy those because I'll be wondering if those are gonna get wasted. But I, clearly, no. I I fuck with the che- the sour cream and the barbecue might get left behind. Nah, them Cheetos and them Fritos are the last two things <laughs> on that list that you just named that are still in this bag, and we contemplating if we are gonna eat them. I don't. Know, I can't believe we're we have such different opinions and taste buds on this. I'm. Cr- I'm. You are eating Fritos. I'm cringing that you like the Cool Ranch fucking Doritos. Oh, that's top. That's one. Gross. That's one and two is the purple bag. That sweet. The chili. purple now the purple that's, bag. That's something we can agree on. All right. That purple bag go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like Gatorade. You don't never get a regular <laughs> color Gatorade. We you out here real broke no, if you get that one. She does like the red Gatorade. No, I don't. I like the orange. No, I, I, I like the highlighter. The highlighter one. The lime one. What? The lime Gatorade. The one that's like highlighter yellow. Bro, get out! <laughs> get out! You are out here drinking regular color Gatorade. I ain't never. This is not. We are, we got cameras and stuff in here, yo, Chris. Yo, like, there's, we're there's, not broke. Dog, like yo, you stopped going to summer camp about fitting twenty years ago. Bro, we are not filling up that orange container and telling niggas to get it out of there. What well, are you? Last time you're I... going in the stores and and voluntarily or getting the yellow Gatorade. Like yo, we going on a we going on a school trip. We I going like on a, that on a, on a yellow one. Bus. The lime one is good. What do you put on your sandwich as a condiment? 
I need to know this. I want to know. And when your mom, when 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 y'all was going on sp- field trips and you was getting a bag lunch, what condiments was you putting on your sandwich? Mustard. All right. All right. <laughs> Does that pass the test? Yeah, bro. But I'm still, I, I'm still judging you, bro. Oh you are drinking God. yellow Gatorade. It's good. Sometimes you don't need all that extra shit. Okay. All right. So for Eric Haynes. The guy who had you have some very good points. I just say stop talk to her, ghost her. Yeah, no more. That's two. Get the neck and ghost her. Exactly, because you can't deal with somebody who ain't putting their kids first. Like this bitch should have been buying to make sure they was all right. Not out of my off my dime. Right. right. You bought your purse. You know your mama said don't ever leave without your purse. What it sound like you said? Oh, he taking us on a date. Yeah, he took the whole, <laughs> he took the house on a date. He don't live here. Hold on. Be damn. Yeah. First of all, you should have told her, ma'am. I nah. want to get to know you first. Nah, you know what's about to happen. Uh, if, if number that, if two. That was, if that was me. Uh, she they about to catch the Jody. Like the kids about to walk into the kitchen. Like yo, you want some eggs? Right. Like number two. How many of these mothers is out here just letting random ass niggas meet their kids like that on to the take them, on the first date to take them to the movies? I mean, if they if, if the babysitter ain't there, nah. you can't go well, on the date. Then that did happen, but <laughs> all right. So this is what happened. I Story was taking time. I was taking this girl on a date, mm-hmm. and I had lined it up. We was gonna go out. Friday came and she said, "Well, my babysitter canceled." So I can't do I can't go. But she then said, but you could come over and she had a spread of food out. She like went and got, you know, buffalo wings. There was, you know, there was liquor. And she put the kids to bed upstairs and we had an evening downstairs. That's that's nice. So it happens. So well, not that not not that nice. Not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens. So I understand that. But fam, to bring them with you? My man's might have been trying to get nasty in the movie theater. He might have been trying to take about the high school. Get a little stanky panky. Duh. So, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna jump. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off the ledge here. He deserved it, okay? Because this is he, this is because this he is what, deserves because, something now. No, 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 no. No, I'm talking about no. He deserved what he got. He he set himself Wait, up. Uh, hold that. on, babe. Can you hold that thought? He defines stinky panky. <laughs> A little, 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 a you know she gonna be called. You bring a little blanket. You know what I'm saying I done got a little rubbing tug in there. Like, <laughs> y'all. I'm, I'm just saying. Do I'm you just, know how high? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying two Wait, things. Wait, babe. Do you know how high up you gotta lift your ass from that <laughs> seat to get two in the pink? She gotta be sitting in that chair. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you gotta rub that thing in a circular motion. Get her, get her, get her nice. You know what I'm saying? That's one long co- uh, coke pinky nail. <laughs> All right. All right, bro. I'm just saying, you supposed to be out here. It happened. Y'all ain't. Y'all wasn't living in high school years. Y'all teenagers was trash. You was doing that in high school. Okay. Um. So those were my first two. I'm done. What What are the two that you found in the Twitter stu- uh, Twitter so, streets? Um. You know, it's a site out here that does this. Uh. Shout out to them because they black women, so you can promote them. Uh. Six brown chicks. Apparently, it's maybe it's six, but it was two that got named. My fault. But uh, this one says, and uh, this relationship is wild. But he said, dated a nice older woman for four months. Sorry if I said he. I don't, I don't know your pronoun. My fault. Dated a nice older woman for four months. COVID struck. And I moved in, discovered she changed her name to mine. She said we getting married because she's not slacking or shacking. I guess I'm engaged now, but I'm not sure if I want to go through with it. Any advice? What happened to an old-fashioned what are we? What happened to you having your own shit? How the fuck you get stuck at somebody else's house? Yeah. If y'all live in the same city, I would have left. But Clearly they had no, no place to go. Oh my god! So you don't have the pussy is not that bomb for you to stay. 
you aren't able to just have a conversation with the man before you go changing your name. I mean, uh, that's probably one of those things like, you know, like why ask? You know, it's why better, am it's, I asking? It's better, it's better to ask for forgiveness than ask for, for permission. <laughs> So we six months in and you looking at my driver's license and it says blank, blank, blank. So if you're not going to be like, I know I'm behind the camera, but if you can see me, I'm like kind of doing like the dream on green, like pointing to your shoulders. You've been stuck in my house for five to six months. It was cool. You ate all my food. I ain't asked for shit. So guess what? Cause she said she wasn't slacking. So she was in there doing some real shit in there. If you if you stuck for four months, you know what that person is, right? That person's probably like Mercedes' mom from uh, from P Valley. It's probably like I can't be having uh, my church folk thinking that I'm shacking. Facts. And then like think about this. During COVID, changing the names, oh, like you gotta have an appointment go to the DMV. Like you can't just pull up. So she done thought about this and went through the real process of getting appointments and lining this up. She's ready. Why wouldn't you want somebody who's that determined to 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 get your love? You think about it. That person forged your name. But at no point did you say, "Hey, let me talk to him about this before I." No. Okay. No. All right. Well. I just I I thought there were steps to dating, but clearly there are not. Well, see when shit when shady shit like this. What did you say earlier? E karma. I got this cheat on her. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, for I think that's a fair exchange. And I for that cheat. Like I wasn't really ready for this, and you never gave me an option. Well, so. put her name on a bank account. Well, put your name on her bank account. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. That's, Add your name to her account. I don't. I don't think in the matters of relationships, it should become financial. I think. I mean, emotional abuse is fine, but financial abuse is trash, bro. You'll be out here running for your life like you fucking autumn nights. Be out here stripping, trying to <laughs> trying to get the bag, and then this nigga just show up. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, that's all I'm saying. I'm just autumn. she abused him technically though. Autumn abused her. Never mind. All right. Okay. Um. So on that, I would say do what you gotta do, sis. I feel you, but don't be ashamed. When he comes back around it because he's not ready to be married. You can't force somebody into that. And put the if you gonna do that, put her in a fucking sister wife's name. I'm gonna find somebody. Y'all ain't legally, so shit. Mm-hmm. Not that bad. She did that. That's all her. All right. What's your second one, Mizzy? With her fucking stage name. It's not the stage name. <laughs> the fucking stage name now. <laughs> <laughs> it says, uh, my boyfriend of six years suddenly died a few months ago. And I cleaned out the closet and found his laptop. It was full of naked images with my married best friend. She introduced us, but has been with him since day one. She told me to move on. I'm hurt and furious. <laughs> what? Should I do? Oh, so, okay. It sounds like we're going from the ghetto of singlehood to the ghetto of relationships. No. And I think we need to clarify this before we jump into this topic fully. Because we just talked about a, a hood bitch. The bitch who changed her last name without confronting the man. That's that's a bitch, bitch. She is the definition that, of That bitch got up big pussy energy. Yeah. And we have now moved on to the ghetto of... Did she say this was her boyfriend or her husband? Boyfriend. Okay. Um, so Six he's, years, right? It says boyfriend of six years. So wives are embarrassing and boyfriends are too, um, clearly. And it's ghetto there too. Um, so her married best friend was in her deceased boyfriend's laptop naked? My first thought was her best friend is a sex worker. She has to have OnlyFans, right? <laughs> Because how else would he get those pictures? He was supporting black business. Yeah. When the last time you open? When's your last time you opened your laptop to look at porno? Uh huh. Yeah. Miss, if you don't get the fuck out of here, that was fucking. Right. <laughs> that I'm, was fucking. I, 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 he I said, was he dead, bro. I was shooting him some bail. He, <laughs> all right, so you know, you know, I'm not me. supporting the black business. <laughs> he was supporting the black business. It's Red. Rez. You don't think E, if if Tiff had a bitch, you don't think E is a supporter because that's your friend, your best friend? Wait. <laughs> wait wait a minute. And it'd be I so- didn't say the details. Relax. If your friend, if your best friend had a business, oh, okay. E would support it. Do you think he was wrong? Depends on what the business is. 
right. if Tiffany is selling sex toys <laughs> directed towards women, no, no, no. It's certain businesses you can't support. All right. That's what I thought when I read this. You could retweet it. Okay. That's about it. Just share it on the top. Like. Share it on the top. Like. That's about it. <laughs> Hot little 24 hours. Come to Dildopolis. Dildopolis. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he was definitely he's, 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 he's cracking it. He's um, and she probably needs to murder her best friend. So uh, now, yeah. So so question, yeah. I'm I'm gonna take it here. So um, all right. So she said like recently passed, right? Right. So how like did she have to use the computer to go look up something? She was or? cleaning out the closet. She went to. She found the laptop. The best friend's on the laptop naked. I can see myself looking at old pictures in your laptop, just trying to reminisce on what was going on. Wouldn't they already be on your laptop? No, I would want to look through your laptop. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Because right. I'm trying to determine how sad I need to be. Women be trying to set themselves up for failure. <laughs> Wouldn't they be on your No, your laptop. I mean, you're going to be mad when it's just a, a, a whole bunch of textually active episodes on uh-huh. there and nothing else. Looking at you. All right. No, or it's not no pictures on it at all. Mm. That's that's the even scarier thought. Why ain't no pictures on your laptop? Because I am not using my computer on the regular. And I'm with you on the regular. Why ain't no pictures on there, though? You deleted them all? Why would I put pictures on my computer? You deleted all of them. That means I had a put- You knew you was about to die? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together six years And ain't shit on this computer <laughs> Ain't nothing there nothing. I see where you went That makes sense Okay That makes sense I ain't even upset at that one Yeah she gotta beat her best friend ass Or murder her ass and I mean but she's married So what's up What's the And tell her husband Ain't no happy homes I'm not happy They gotta be unhappy Hurt people hurt people Oh uh, what, what if she just fuck them Huh Get back Oh fuck her husband I would it would be an easy setup. All you got to say is, yo, I need to talk to you about something. I'm coming over to the house. She at work. You know she at work. That's your best friend. Go over there, share the pictures, and uh, Burlington Throat Factory. Mm. I like it. <laughs> I, I like it, bro. I for ad. Like, you can't escape it. karma. Yeah, like I'm here for it. Like, yeah. <laughs> You do some fucked up shit to me. I do. I, it's it's my obligation to do I'm, some fucked up shit. First back. of all, I'm not waiting for karma because that bitch takes too long. I'm going to settle it myself. That's a good stripper name, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> karma. Settle it myself. Oh, karma. Karma or settle it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> Welcome to the stage. Karma, settle it myself. <laughs> Not the sentence of the day. Oh Karma, my settle God. it myself. <laughs> What's rule 37? <laughs> no crying at the peak. <laughs> no crying at the peak. All I right. did. One more, one more. This is the last one. And uh, <laughs> I really want to get into this one because it's just fucking hilarious to me. For the first time uh, I, in our relationship, I'm working. This is the woman. And he's home with the kids. My four-year-old son FaceTimed me from her hubby's phone, and our female neighbor was there washing dishes. Husband says she's been coming over to help, but he didn't tell me beforehand. I told him we don't need help doing the chores. He says she is free help, and she's good with the kids. <laughs> and that I need to quit being jealous this woman, she said, this woman is the fat girl with pretty face type. And you know what that means. <laughs> also, she don't speak to me. What should I do? This is... Uh, he lucky he's still alive. There, yeah. Cause there black, are layers. Because black women don't play having other women in the house. I not there. wish the fuck I would... <laughs> Call my baby and the cat answer the phone and there's somebody in the back washing dishes while the cat is talking to mommy. Mm. Nah, Cause it ain't gonna the, be no babies. Things you kinda messed it up. The kid called her. I know. So the dog called me and the dog said Oh, because we don't got kids. Yeah, got it. The dog said, Mommy, da, 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 today is so much fun. Daddy got us running around. It's so fun. Ruff, ruff. And I see the neighbor bitch in the back washing my dishes. All you seen was her body. 
the well, dishes. She said she was a big girl, so all you see was the back. The dishes that I left because I said I was going to get to them later. You do like washing dishes, though. So you'd be hot. Somebody taking your job from you. Oh, baby. And then you ain't talk to me about nobody coming to the house. Oh, so we doing we doing this. So the next time. <laughs> yeah, he is very, very grateful. That household, he runs that household. Yeah, he bold. Yeah, for but you, he doesn't have a job. For you to be able to get off, you need to stop being jealous. He doing something right in there. He is doing something right. But she she also mentioned for the house. first time in their relationship, she at work and he not. Let's take another layer to it. He must have been building a treehouse. She would. She didn't she didn't even address the situation herself. She wrote it on the internet. So that also lets you know that her friends are tired. Of hearing about it. She can't even talk to her friends about it no more. This nigga ain't shit. If it goes to the point where I'm writing a letter to the internet, that means I no longer have anybody else to talk to in real life about this relationship. So this man has been dragging her through the dirt. Called her jealous, which means that there is a history of him cheating behind the scenes. He fucked her. and (laughs) Clearly. And he likes big women with pretty faces. Are we shaming? No, we're not. Oh. So (laughs) the fact that she said, you know what that means? No, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? She'll take your your nigga. And she's had her nigga taken by one of them before. Yeah. So. And the other part of that is the lady don't speak to her. So that makes me question what do him and what kind of relationship him and her got? So how she don't speak to me, but she speak to you. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that's iffy, and she only coming over when I'm not there. And he like letting it be known that he fuck with her. Like, nah, she cool. Like, she good with the kids. Like, no, but if he if like, <laughs> so, what, so what he so what he doing? <laughs> so 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 he on he, so he on Call of Duty all day. No, he not. Yeah, he is. He he calling that duty. That booty. <laughs> he signed them up for that booty duty. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as them kids lay down for nap. Sign him up for that. That baby about four, he lay down around twelve, one o'clock. Them dishes be clean, everything be clean, the kids be sleeping, and he be slapping them cheeks. Kill next con- door too. Kill leave confirmed. him in that yeah, leave him in the house by himself. He going next door. <laughs> Kill confirmed, huh? Yeah. Walking her home. Cause she's single. She live next door. Yeah, he over there. Slapping cheeks. He done fixed some shit over there before. Mm. Come on, man. What, like Maisie, what, what what's what's your take on this? Uh I honestly think uh, he's he's a probably clapped them cheeks. Two, if work is stressful, you should be thankful. This is the first time you've been back to work in a while. Is somebody in there cleaning up for you? Oh my gosh! So there's another layer. Does she have the right to be upset that he's slapping somebody else's cheeks because she hasn't been at work? I mean, obviously she should be upset. She has the right. But what I'm saying is, you could also think of this as a blessing. You know what I'm saying? She can come home from a long day at work and come home to a clean house. At the expense of my husband fucking somebody else? Bitch, I mean, you fuck her. I mean, was he really your husband? <laughs> you do, what are you going to do? She probably cooked. She, he said she was a big girl. She didn't. She done fed the kids. But it goes into communication. We couldn't talk about this first? Well, she don't speak to you. So the question, <laughs> so the question, so the question, so the question is how long How long she been coming over? What's, what's your guess? Let's say it's only during the pandemic. Let's say it's during the pandemic. So we we six months in. Oh, she's probably she's probably seen. She probably came over the first day. She heard some shit like. You ever watch this is at a, a stranger house? No. Do you know what the relationship between you and that person that that the house that you're visiting you gotta, has to be for you to wash <laughs> dishes at their house? You gotta know what a, the gloves. <laughs> you gotta know what an extra dish detergent. <laughs> That is very comfortable. I'm not just going to somebody's house, hanging out for the first time, a neighbor, and then washing the dishes. She been here before. Nah, yo, they yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah. How how's she calm enough to be like, yo, like, like? Cause I'm I'm just thinking like the the type of surprise that you have when you see that somebody else is in your house that you don't know. She was trying to clock out right there on, on the spot. She, she putting in her little PTO. I gotta go home real quick. I just, I feel, like, I'm, I just feel like I just feel like if that was Rez, the tweet wouldn't have wouldn't have gotten sent. Oh no! Mm-mm. Oh, if it would have been Rez, you'd have died. Yeah, it wouldn't be no evidence about oh, she that. She at least choked you up. You might not die, but you just got choked up. Choke slam. Um. So I think we've discussed enough about both ghettos. I, I introduced this conversation saying that single was ghetto, but this is the ghetto of relationships, relationships. because you have to think. 
when you're single, feelings are an option. Like you may fall for somebody, but it's not that deep. Imagine being deep in the feeling stage and being embarrassed on that level. And that's why you have shows like Snapped. Um, let's go let's go ahead and take a break and come back with our final thoughts. All right, and we're back for our final thoughts. You know, throughout this episode, we had to look and find tweets. I found some tweets in the meantime, in between time, that we didn't really get to discuss in whole. So let's just talk about them real quick. Oh, rap fire? Rap fire. First thing come to my mind, I'm saying it. Okay, so people be like, if you don't have kids, don't speak on motherhood. Damn, poo. All I said was strap him in his car seat. That is a fact. <laughs> Do something with him. Goddamn. Take care of him. Put them first. Put the baby first. E, what you got? Uh, I mean, fuck them kids. <laughs> that is also a valid point. All right. So, I'm sorry. All these tweets are about kids. Um, my custom abortion hoops came in and I'm screaming. The reply is, I can't have children of my own and this makes me sick. A third party comments and he said, maybe you should get custom hoops that say infertile or something. I don't know. I co-sign it. Go for it. You always, you in other people's business. Mind the business that impregnate you. I can't have shit. Mind your own uteruses. Right. It don't matter. She want to get an abortion. Let her get an abortion. This has nothing to do with you. Damn. You, if you if you smart, pay her for that baby she about to abort. Right. If you really want one. Talk to her on the side so you could get pregnant. Um, I was wondering if you could get pregnant for me. You see what the price Instead is. Instead of spending money, DM I can the same you way. Money. DM them the same way she DM'd whoever made her custom earrings. Make that a plan. Part. That part. Support black business. All right. So... <laughs> Jesus. Another one. I'm not a hoe. You niggas just wild as fuck for knowing each other. Nah, you're a hoe. <laughs> you're a hoe. You're a hoe. You knew we knew each other too and you was out here wilding. You wanted to run to that, uh, that, them line brothers. It sounds like a pass of guilt to that's me. The, that's, the free, that's the freak of line. That's it. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is another thing we saw on the timeline. Niecy Nash quietly leaving her heterosexual marriage for a loud debut of a queer one, <laughs> greater than anything. I come to y'all today broken hearted. Oh. Sad. Mm. It's okay. Uh, I watched. I watched Nisi Nash. If y'all follow Nisi Nash, you know Nisi Nash. <laughs> every time I'm giving it up. That baby, that thing. And I seen her turn fifty on the timeline. Talk about a throat goat. <laughs> And it was it, it was sun out buns out on the timeline. It's the I, for you me. ain't even have to you ain't even have to tell her to turn around. It was it was there. You can see it from the front. Make sure you see it from the back. And and I and I just all I ever wanted was to have the chance. Hugger. Just just <laughs> a, just to lay my bosom on them the same way. Lay uh, your head on the bosom. Just the same way uh Chris Brown ex usually usually do it's every off. day. Every time she do it, she just she every time she see her, she just lay her head oh. on her titties. And I wanted that chance, but apparently now she only like plastic. Mm-hmm. And All right. Well, um the next one go- I'm hurt. I'm sad about this. You done fuck my day up. Okay, this is an easy one. I know we all seen the lady with the two French braids and the red tank on devouring a stripper's ass in Atlanta. Go. Can't wait to the outside open up. <laughs> Cannot wait to outside. <laughs> I had to DM Jazz the other day, like Onyx and Charlotte is about to open. <laughs> they got they say it said free it said a free wing platter when you walk in. Like, like I can't wait. So some of y'all will throw away leftovers but eat a stripper's ass while she's working. The way her friend you, you gotta think about the friend that pulled that thong to the side so she could get in there. Cause she, you could tell she really wanted to just get a good lick, and um, once that barrier of security was removed, that being the thong, she really got what she wanted. And you have to stand a queen that goes after what she wants. I feel like we should plan a friend, a, a family <laughs> field trip. I mean, we always do boats and we do uh, <laughs> Airbnbs and hang out and drink. But I feel like we really need to plan a family field trip. <laughs> To the strip club. Thank God you didn't say church. No. I thought you were going to say church. 
You know, there's somebody about to get these ones in their collection plate, and it ain't gonna be a church. Okay. But we need to go. I I'm just it. so glad you're not shaming me for my views of how that thong so easily got pulled from the side. It was just like, it was almost like asking you shall receive. Oh. And she received that sweet, sweet, wet butt crack and you know in her mouth. And you know how you know like things are cool? Yeah. Because yeah. if it would have been a bad day, you would have smelled it first. Yeah. And she didn't. She didn't smell she it. Didn't smell she anything. did the smell tech. She, That's what she was doing down there for so long. Yeah. She was smelling to check it. But if you guys have a moment, go back and look at that video. If you haven't seen it, uh, we're not resharing it. You have to. If you know, <laughs> you, you know. Find um, but there is a man. <laughs> And he would be me with the LV belt in the back, just caressing his groin. He was going to work <laughs> on his penis in the back. Oh, <laughs> to the <laughs> he was just he was going ham. <laughs> What's in the back? But you really have to watch it a few times. So you know where my head is at because I've seen it a, a few times. And I just looked above to the to the top left. And that man was stroking his <laughs> feet. He was, he was at Masturbation Station, man. In the middle of the show club. I didn't see it. He got a Masturbation Station. Oh, my God, boy. Okay, oh, okay, I'm that's going to watch. We got really up, bro. I got to go see. Like, what is this man doing? <laughs> Had a champagne room and a masturbation station. <laughs> that nigga thought he would. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so, speaking of songs you can masturbate to, <laughs> 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 masturbating to a song is wild. <laughs> Cause that means you set a mood. You ain't just you got the you got the little the little LED light zone. You about to go to work on your shmeet, right? That now. is so love. That is self love. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> oh you are God. Now tuned in. Oh, you are now tuned in to W M E Z. Uh, last week I played actors turn R and B singers, and I decided let's just run it back one more time. Let's do it one more again. Uh, Netflix. On my block. Anybody? Anybody yeah. watch? A mm-hmm. little bit. Black guy. Jamal. Real name, Brent Graves. He's out here with a bop. He's out here singing, singing. This joint is called Easy On Me from his new EP called Blue. Let's get into it here on WMEZ. Textually active. All right. Pull your memes out. Um, I hope we was able to give you guys... An episode full of laughs and take your mind off of whatever is going on in this crazy world. Um, Meezy, do you have your meme? Sure do. It says, I love being in a restaurant when they change the lighting from lunch to horny. (laughs) When they dim the light? (laughs) (laughs) What's up with you, yo? I just said, I like when they change the lights from lunch to horny. Oh my gosh. E, what you got? All right. All right. So, one second. So, basically, um, mine is a little bit more than just a meme. It's just one of those things when you, one of those gems you kind of find on uh, Black Twitter. And I brought it up to Meezy's uh, attention and he was not rolling with it. So, basically, I found a an 80s version, 80s R&B version of WAP. And I just felt like I just wanted to share it with you guys. Snigger be these niggas be out here cat. Seven days a week That wet ass pussy got My pull-out game week Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah I'm fucking with that wet ass Swimming in it, baby I'ma bring a bucket and a mop, darling Give you everything I got, I'm falling Yeah, 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 yeah I'm fucking with that wet ass All right, and that's all I got. I felt disrespected. Real disrespected. 
We don't sample songs like that no more. The fuck going on? <laughs> that was great. I loved it. Um, my meme is, and this is like a back play on what we was talking about earlier. People be like, "Let karma handle it." Nah, I need motherfuckers dead today. <laughs> Facts. That's it. Facts. I can't wait. Hey. I can't wait. Is- I can't wait. Can't I wait. wait. I can't wait, no, I can't wait. Yo, y'all are sick. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are sick. If we sick, or is, this nigga was talking about pussy. I mean, oh, just- <laughs> that is nasty. That's really nasty. That's what I have. That's all I have. Um, thank you guys for listening to this episode of Sexually Active. We will be back next Tuesday, but in the meantime, in between time, keep up with us on our social media pages. We're on Instagram at Sexually Active Pod. We're on Twitter at Sexually Act Pod. Just act notive. Um, and we are on Facebook at Sexually Active Pod. Also, if you want to see us looking all cute and laughing, you want to see me fall out my chair laughing at Meezy during this episode, go or on YouTube. I fell out laughing at you. I fell out laughing at you too. It's still, he had an LV belt on for me. <laughs> And I know that would be me. And I think my, that might be the, the title of the episode. I knew that would be me. I'm trying to think, but you have me laughing too. Um, thank you all. I love you guys. We'll see you next week. Hey, shout out. We're about to come through with some big announcements. Yes, yeah. we got some shit for y'all. So shout out to y'all. We'll be back next week. Well, Peace out. Thank you for listening to the Textually Active Podcast. This podcast is a full service production from the Open Media Lab. Be sure to check in every Textual Tuesday along with following them on all social media at Textually Active Pod. Textually Active is a part of the Open Media Network.